All right. Overall energy on the bottom of the deck. We have the Hermit with the Seven of Wands. Block, 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 block. Someone's ghosted you, you ghosted someone, someone's gone into their cocoon, they're back into their shell, not talking, lack of communication, no communication, dead silence, radio silence. Someone blocked you out, you blocked them out. That's what I'm getting. Okay? However, there's still someone here. You know, you could be dealing with someone who's emotionally very, not emotionally, you're dealing with someone who's very immature in communication. That's the issue here. That's your biggest challenge here, okay? So yeah, the person who ghosted you, it just could be a habit, okay? This could just be how this person operates, okay? Maybe life hits them hard, something happens in a relationship, and they just have to like disappear for like 100 days, okay? Again, this person could be a very shitty communicator, okay? Maybe they're watching you from a distance, spying, stalking. But what I'm getting is your issue or two, your immediate challenge is communication, okay? You're dealing with someone who's very immature, playing mind games, and they just don't know how to talk, okay? And even if they open their mouth, they're very rash, okay? They, they cannot leave the harsh words outside. They just have to say something stupid or mean that'll just piss you off. And this person's acting very stubborn right now is what I'm getting. Why? Why does this always happen? Why do we always have to have a king or a queen dealing with a page? You know, the knight and kings and queens, I get it. I get it, okay? We're still reaching, we're still trying to get someone to reach level up, okay? But the page and the king or queen, are you, ex look, before even starting the reading, are you expecting commitment from someone who's that immature? You're dealing with someone immature and every single time I'm even getting before the reading intuitively I'm picking up that every single time you try to have a conversation with this person, try to get some stability, security, or you want to talk to this person about some uh, something long term, this person just goes you. See, you're fed up with this person. You're fed up with this person. I, I, it's like, you're like, I've had it. I've had it with you. You cannot be in and out, in and out of your life, okay? So that's what this person is doing, okay? They're constantly ghosting you every single time. You know, they won't communicate with you. You know, they don't have anything to say. They'll stalk you. But when it comes to some serious stuff, right, they just want to back out. They cop out. And you're wanting something very serious, something very solid, okay? You want, you're, you're being very practical and grounded right now. And for you, it's like, you know what? I have dealt with this over and over again. I've given you like a 15 million chances and now it's it. That is it. That is it. You cut them out, they cut them out, they cut you out, whoever, okay? Take it vice versa. See, in the past, you could have been very, very stuck on this person, okay? You could have been trying to move on from this situation for a very long time. Could be a distance between you guys. But you know what? You could have been trying to mentally distance yourself away or wanting to get into calmer waters, okay? But you were, again, dealing with someone, okay, who would probably give you some information and then hold back information. Give you information, hold back information. Lack of clarity is what I'm getting, okay? You always never knew where you were standing with this person. Things are still not going to move forward, okay? Because you're not learning your lessons, buddy. You're not learning your lessons, they're not learning the lessons. Maybe the lesson could even be that you're expecting too much. First of all, expectations is wrong. Expectations is not normal, okay? Embed it. Embed it in your mind, your heart, wherever. Expectations is not normal, okay? Not at all. Expectations create hurt. This person is not creating the hurt, okay? They're not hurting you. Your expectations are creating hurt. You're expecting. Not even too much. Forget how much you're expecting. You cannot expect. Why should you expect? Either be in a relationship where there's unconditional love and have enough power within you to be with someone without expecting, or then don't be with them at all. But at least don't cut them out in a way that you become bitter and vengeful and you, you're just like so pissed off, you know? It's not worth it, right? So yeah, there's an energetic difference, okay, out here. You could, there could be a big age difference. Could be dealing with someone married, could be, but you're just dealing with someone, you're dealing with someone emotionally, um, I don't know why I get emotionally, maybe this is someone emotionally mature, also that's why they're bad at communication also, okay? Communication, emotional, immaturity. Things are still not going to move forward in the near future, it's still going to be stuck and stagnant, okay? 
I thought there is some external circumstances that is stopping you, okay, from moving this forward or it's stopping this person from moving them forward, okay? But someone's not learning their lessons here, okay? There is a repetitive cycle of repeating the past mistakes over and over and over again. Could be you, could be them. Maybe you're giving this person chances over and over again. That's why you were stuck in the past and maybe you're still not learning from your mistakes. Or maybe this person has gone through this entire cycle with you all the time and every single time they do what they do. So there's one person here who does not want to reconcile is what I'm getting, okay? Two things. Either there's one person here where there's a lack of reconciliation. They just feel that, you know what, you just feel you're just not being able to come on the same page with this person, okay? You, something's just, you guys are just not being able to come together, you know? It's like no matter how, no matter how much you try to push this person towards something stable, okay? This person is just not ready to be with you on that same page, okay? Or... There could be a third person involved in this situation, okay, who's either influencing the connection or there's someone here who this person who you're dealing with is being influenced with or they're listening to other people's opinions, okay. The three of cups in reverse can be cheating, but I'm not getting cheat so much of cheating. I'm just getting someone where multiple people are involved, okay, in influencing the third person or this is just you just finding it really, really hard to get this person to be with you, okay, on the same page. The other person that you're dealing with, they're going nowhere. They're going nowhere. So you're dealing with someone, whoever is doing this, whoever's ghosted you or whoever is just... Maybe you could have blocked this person if you ghosted this person, okay? Because they're not just coming, getting rid of that nonsense of theirs, okay? So this person is watching you from a distance, but they're very invested in you. They're not being able to walk away from you. See? You want growth, you want expansion, you want abundance, you realize your self-worth, your value. You realize you deserve a lot, lot, lot more than what is being offered here. And that's the biggest problem here. You're dealing with someone who's not being able to offer you. For God's sake, you're the queen of pentacles and the empress. You're dealing with the page of swords. In reverse. Very immature. You're expecting too much, Libra, from someone who's just not ready to level up. It's not about them wanting to. I feel they're just not ready to level up. And you have already reached that level where you're not looking for any hanky pank anymore. You're not looking for flings. You're ready to settle. You're ready to get that foundation, that family, stability, whatever have you, okay? You want growth. You want expansion. You want to nurture this connection. But you're just finding it too hard to get this person to be with you on the same page, all right? I think that if you continue to do this, right, either this person is on your mind on a constant basis or you are on this person's mind. I'm getting that this person who is not being able to walk away, the one, the one who is the emotional, uh, the one who is the immature communicator, the one who is very immature in communication, that's the person who is not being able to move on. They may have blocked you on social media, they may have ghosted you, but you are on their mind 24-7. They cannot get you off their mind, okay? It's almost like I'm getting they have this realization, okay? They do, and they cannot walk away from you because they realize what you meant to them, what you gave them, how you nurtured this connection, okay? But, I don't know, up to you Libra. You're doing the right thing. You're doing the right thing. It's not about... It's not about... The wrong part is not about asking the commitment. You ask for what you feel you deserve. You ask for something serious. You ask for it. But it depends on who are you asking it from. Who are you expecting it from. That's the difference. Okay? And maybe that's the lesson that you're not learning. Could be. Okay? Don't... Don't have to take it literally. It could be the cross watcher. But that's why things are not moving forward because you're not learning your lessons. Maybe you've given this person chances over and over again, but you're not being able to come to terms with the realization that this person is just not ready for it or they need to grow up. They need to step up their game. Okay? That's what I have for you, Libra. I hope this reading resonates. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. That'll be really cool. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.